a linear is a straight line, a straight line is 180 degrees, okay? So linear pair have to make 180 degrees, all right? Okay? All right, so let's sketch this real quick. Um, we use the space right here. So we have a straight line, linear pair, something like this. Okay. Angle ABC. A, call this B, C. Angle ABC, AX plus 5. And angle DBC. So we're missing a D over here. We already have a D and a C. So from here to here is 2X minus 10. All right, so linear pair. What the theorem says is you add angle one, you plus angle two, that gives you 180 degrees, okay? All right, so you add this angle, that's three X plus five, plus this angle plus, plus 2x minus 10. Then those are going to give you 180 degrees. Okay? Then you are going to solve for it. <clears throat> Alright, so 3x plus 2x plus 5x. 5 minus 10, that's negative 5. It goes 180. Plus 5 to eliminate the final left. So 5x it goes 185. <clears throat> and then you divide by 5. 5. So x it goes 37. Okay? Alright, which means this is 37. Not 37 degree, 37, okay? It's just a value. Now we are looking for angle ABC, all right? ABC is 3x plus 5, that's 3 times 37 plus 5. 116 degree, okay? And this right here is 2 times 37 minus 10. That's going to give you 64 degrees. All right, so linear pair, you are given two angles. Uh, you add them up to be 180 because the linear is a straight line. 90 degrees, okay? All right, two angles add up to be 90 degrees, all right? So let's sketch the two angles. We have angle U, V, W, so let's say. U, B, W, all right? And this is X minus 10 degrees. And we have angle X, Y, Z. And this right here is 4X minus 10. <clears throat> okay, here it is. When two angles are complementary of each other, um, you add those two together to get you 90 degrees, okay? So, this angle plus this angle is going to give you 90 degrees, okay? Alright, so this angle is x minus 10. Plus the other one is 4x minus 10. This is going to give you a total of 90 degrees. <clears throat> then you solve for x, plug back in, and find the, you know, the angle, the size of the angle. 1x and 4x, that's 5x. 
negative 10 minus 10, that's negative 20 equals 90. Plus 20, plus 20. So 5x equals 110. <coughs> then you divide by 5 to both values. So x equals 22. So my x is 22. Good. Then you take the 22, you plug back in for the x and solve, all right? So this right here is 22 minus 10, okay? Which is 12. So angle U, V, W is 12 degrees, all right? Okay, the other angle is, this is gonna be four minus 10 which is 78 degree, okay? All right, but once you find an angle, okay, let's say you look for the four degree. You know this two right here, add up together to be 90, all you have to do is take 90 minus four, I'll show you the same thing. Okay. This right here is 180, all right? The way you're doing this is exactly the same as the way you take care of linear hair, okay? Because they're equal to 180, all right? The only difference is this could be two separate angles. All right? So let's get the angles. EFG This is 3x plus 17 L M N. All right? So let's call one half point five. Minus five degrees. <clears throat> okay. So this plus this gonna give you 180 because we are looking because they are supplement uh, to each other. Alright, so my first angle, my first supplement angle is 3x plus 17 plus 0.5x minus 5. This is going to give you 180. <coughs> 3 plus 0.5 is going to be 3.5x. 17 minus 5, that's positive 12. It goes 180. Then you subtract 12, subtract 12. So 3.5x equals 168. And divide by 5 to both sides. 3.5. 3.5 x equals 48. So this is 48. Then we need to know what. Uh, What's right. All right. So right here is supposed to be E F D. All right. Uh, apologize. I didn't change the uh, question. Okay. And this is supposed to be L M N. All right. Okay. All right. So E F G three X plus three times four plus seventeen. One sixty one. And this is nineteen. 